and to miracles. I just made my bid get half a gallon of green juice and I put two radishes and um, romaine lettuce, a couple of pieces of bok choy, and let's see, collard greens. That's really full. Um, what else? I usually put celery, I didn't have any for this, but um, I usually put celery, a cucumber, and um, this time, and I put a lot of ginger. I like ginger because it's good for the gastrointestinal uh, tract and um, just a slew of other things. It you know, helps to eliminate um, parasites and bacteria, etc. The whole point of this, of, of juicing and getting my body balanced, is because of what I had gone through in the past and learning lessons the hard way. The carbohydrates all turn to sugar, and um, so it's very wearing, and uh, eventually the tissues get overloaded, you get sick. You, you know, you get an acid condition, and um, all of the diseases thrive on a body that is in an acid condition, whereas the alkaline, uh, alkalizing foods, which is just completely alkalizing, um, is the exact opposite. So you're getting the, uh, the oxygen, the chlorophyll, um, this cleans the blood, it detoxifies, I could go on and on and on. Anyway, um, this, is a, this is a miracle to me. This has changed my life. Uh, from a very subtle, loving, it's like there's, there, you know, there's a scientific experiment now going on uh, with the plants. Um, I don't, I wouldn't recommend, it. <laughs> it's called DMT or something, you can look it up online. But anyway, it comes from the green plant, it comes from plants. and. They're calling it the God molecule or something like that, but it's in all plants. And when they, I guess they refined it or broke it down and uh, you give it to a person and they, the experiments that were being done were that these uh, people who were chosen because of their uh, level of intelligence or insight or intuition, psychic ability, etc. Um, they would take this and then they would explain their experience and unlike LSD, this brought them to a, an awakening of uh, beautiful experiences, out of body experiences. They're on the, 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 um, on the YouTube channel. And anyway, so I'm not saying you're gonna get a, you're gonna trip, you know, go on a trip or anything like that from juice, but what I am saying is that it does have, allow you to have some kind of a inner knowing, connection, awakening, maybe because the brain works better uh, with all this oxygen and um, a higher level of nutrients that feeds the body, feeds the soul, um, or reconnects you. It doesn't feed uh, the soul or the spirit, but it reconnects you as the, the, freq the frequency of the um, other foods that are so dense and dead are, the, are like the filters that I spoke about in another video that kind of blocks that connection um, that we really are, are aspiring to. Even if you don't think you are, all the things that you aspire towards, uh, that you are driven towards that you want to achieve in your life has for you is going to give you this sense of elevation the sense of peace or safety or security or whatever that is the 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 connection that i'm talking about just opens up a channel to that awareness and that feeling that you've already got it it's already yours it's it's been yours forever and 
um, you have more of a sense of acceptance of where you are now, which also allows for that wonderful um, power, I believe it, I believe it's a power, that gives you the ability to, to draw into yourself as a, like a magnet those things that you desire and want without ever really having to try all that much. Um, other than being the creative person that you are, doing the creative things that you do during your everyday experience and co-mingling with others and uh, on a one-to-one -one basis or on a one-to-a-million basis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the, the life that comes from doing this kind of thing because this is concentrated, this is like that, a huge level if you, you know, I've tried to do the video which I think my music was a little too loud and I was too far away but um, there's a huge pile of greens there, right? This is, you know, in a, in a half a gallon you're, you're getting during the day, I don't drink it all at once, um, you're getting a tremendous amount of life force from these living organic greens, um, whatever that life force contains, and they all of all the different uh, vegetables are radiating at a different frequency. So you're getting that the nutrients, the minerals um, that feed the cellular uh, composition that that needs that life in order to function at its optimum level that it may take 10 years for a person to become completely 100% clean. And what I have witnessed for myself is that it's hard to be 100% raw right now, right now. I'm getting very close to it. Um, I still eat eggs once in a while and uh, occasionally a piece of fish and, uh, you know, so, and I've, I don't want to feel guilty about that, so what I do is I um, bless that ener the energy, I bless the chickens, <laughs> I bless, you know, that energy that's, and the fish, and to, when you think about it, you know, you have this um, living, breathing animal, I mean the fish we're talking about, uh, or any animal that, that, you, that you consume, um, lives its life, it's like you're living your life and let's say there was this being that comes along and just, oh okay, that looks like a juicy little human being, chop off your head, eat you for lunch, right? So there goes your life, but who are we to say that they don't have a right to live out their lives? I, you know, I don't know if they're here for that purpose, who knows? However, I remember reading, gosh, in my early 20s, the Cal Hill Gibran, so that if a, a life must be taken in order for you to live, then let that be a sacred um, experience. Let that um, not be just something that's like, oh, well, I can kill it because I'm bigger than it and I'm more powerful, I can do it. We don't want to eat that kind of energy because you're taking the life that doesn't want to go into you, doesn't want to die, that I've seen in nature, or in, in stories, um, uh, documentaries even, where to be, because there's a beautiful energy, let's say that maybe they know, or they're aware that by giving themselves to you, they are becoming sacred bread for God's sacred feast. That's what we are aspiring to be. We want to be consumed by that higher energy, that higher level of being, that higher level of awareness. So that, in a sense, is what, whether we know it or not, whether we're not, or whether we're aware of it or not, we're priming ourselves to become these tasty morsels that this giant being of all wisdom, all knowledge, is going to take you back into its body and consume you and uh, once again you awaken as the, and you go back to the part of your total beingness that you truly are. So, 
back down the spiral. Um, all I know is that in the dream that I feel like we're all sharing and part of, you know, the, this, there's many little sparks of light that penetrate into this world, into our realities that help us along the way. And this, to me, is one of them. And so I wanted to share that. Um, if it is good for you, then it's fabulous. If it's not, then find your path and uh, be joyous on that path. And um, and uh, give you all my blessings for that, too. So here's to joy and happiness. Mm -hmm.